greetings from Filter Concept. As we know, the gas segment of the oil and gas industry is a vital part of the energy sector. Natural gas is a clean burning fossil fuel that is used for a variety of purposes, such as generating electricity, heating homes and businesses, and fueling vehicles. With the growing demand for energy and the increasing focus on reducing carbon emissions, the gas segment is expected to play an increasingly important role in the energy mix of the future. This will ensure that the gas segment is used to its maximum potential and that emissions are minimized, making it an environmentally responsible energy source. During oil production gases are obtained first because they are the lightest components of the oil and are more easily released during the production process. Separated gases can be used as fuel or in a variety of other applications. Mercury is a naturally occurring element that is found in many rocks and minerals in the Earth's crust and can become trapped in natural gas deposits. Over time, the mercury can leach out of the rocks and into the gas fields, making it a potential environmental hazard. A low level of mercury in natural gas can affect your equipment's structural integrity. The amount of mercury found in oil and gas products is a growing concern in the industry. This is because the presence of this heavy metal can cause a range of adverse effects. One effective way of mitigating the potential risks posed by mercury is the introduction of a mercury removal unit, MRU. An MRU is a unit designed to capture, store, and remove mercury from downstream processes within oil and gas production. It usually comprises of three main components, a pretreatment stage, a sorbent stage, and a post-treatment stage. The pretreatment stage involves the removal of particles that could clog the unit. The sorbent stage involves the use of adsorbents to capture and collect the mercury from the liquid feed stream. Finally, the post-treatment stage involves the removal of the mercury from the liquid stream with the help of thermal oxidation or electrochemical precipitation. The process of mercury removal requires careful design consideration and efficient operation. The most commonly used adsorbent material is activated carbon, and the most commonly used post-treatment method is thermal oxidation. The design of the MRU must be optimized to ensure that the mercury-laden gas and liquid is evenly distributed across the adsorbent media to maximize the adsorption efficiency. Natural gas can be treated with either regenerative or non-regenerative adsorbents to remove mercury. The gas enters the top of an adsorption tower and flows down through the adsorbent, adsorbing mercury before exiting the bottom. Regenerative systems consist of two or more adsorption towers, allowing one to be regenerated while the others are running. The process begins with the natural gas or crude oil being fed into the unit. The first step is the pretreatment phase, where the feed is cooled to a temperature of around 5 degrees centigrade. This is done to condense any water vapor present, which can cause problems with the downstream equipment. The next step is the adsorption phase, where the feed is passed through a bed of adsorbent material. The adsorbent material is typically activated carbon or molecular sieve, and it selectively binds to the mercury ions present in the feed. The adsorption process is typically carried out at temperatures between 5 degrees centigrade and 40 degrees centigrade. Once the adsorption phase is complete, the spent adsorbent material is removed from the unit and replaced with fresh material. The spent material is then sent for regeneration, where the mercury is removed and the material can be reused. The final step is the product purification phase, where the treated gas or oil is passed through a polishing bed to remove any residual mercury. This is typically done using a bed of activated alumina or other similar materials. MRU are designed to provide an efficient and effective solution for the removal of mercury from oil and gas products. The process is designed to ensure that the mercury concentrations in the final product are kept to a minimum. As mercury levels in oil and gas products continue to rise, the use of MRU is becoming increasingly important. MRU provide an efficient and cost-effective way to reduce mercury levels and protect downstream processes from the damaging effects of mercury. Filtration systems may reduce functional challenges. By using the right filter media, one can remove particles and other contaminants that can lead to clogging and fouling of equipment. This can be beneficial for the extended life of machinery, as well as for the overall efficiency of the process.
By doing this, the quality of the product will improve and the possibility of equipment failure will be reduced. Additionally, the right filtration system will also provide an optimal balance between filtration efficiency and cost, enabling businesses to maximize their return on investment. Filter Concept's uniquely designed filtration system enables users to produce high-quality results with minimal effort. Our commitment to quality and performance has been recognized by customers around the world who continue to trust Filter Concept for their filtration needs. This commitment to excellence is what makes Filter Concept a trusted partner in the filtration industry. Get your queries resolved at inquiry at the ratefilter-concept.com or ENGG at the ratefilter-concept.com. Any feedback you can provide would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.